Hey everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. In this video, I'd like to show you the products that I use for my hair. Last month, I did a video on my hair loss story and I'll link it down below for you guys to check it out. But in short, about four years ago, I had a massive hair loss and it's now starting to come back and I do believe some of the products that I've been using kind of helped with my scalp. I recommend seeing a doctor first if you're having any hair loss problems because in that video I did mention that I went to three of them. All my blood work came back okay, there was nothing out of the ordinary with that, but for me I think it was the Ridge Shampoo and I mentioned it in, in that video. I thought I had lice so I went and got Ridge Shampoo and applied it to my scalp and that's when whoosh all hell broke loose with me actually it's about four and a half years ago because this coming march it'll be five years since i had my massive hair loss and it probably lasted a good three three and a half years of seeing constant hair shed on the floor on my body on my brush and the shower drain everywhere i'm pretty particular with what i use for my hair because i really don't want another massive hair loss no i i really don't let me give you a little information about my hair i am 52 years old so this is aging hair i have naturally curly wavy frizzy hair i do color my hair about every two to three months and you will see the gray hairs throughout the video because it's it's about time i need to go get my hair color i do have an itchy irritated scalp so a lot of these products will help with that so i'm looking for products that can help with my itchy irritated scalp and to give me volume to make my hair soft not so frizzy and won't cause another massive hair loss I'm not asking for much <laughs> so the hair products that I'm going to show you are my main go-to products I do get a lot of hair products in beauty advent calendars subscription boxes and gift with purchases and I'll try to work them in but these are it these are my go-to products and when I do try some of those samples and I like what I see then I'll get the full size and add it to my arsenal of hair products and it does look like I have a lot but I don't use them all at the same time I kind of rotate through to give my hair a little shock to the system I guess you could say but not too much of a shock because I don't want another hair loss so how I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the products that I use in in the shower now because I didn't want to film myself showering because that's kind of freaky to me <laughs> plus it could get messy and so I'll just show you the products and then and then I'll show you the products that I use for my damp hair after I got out of the shower all right let me go ahead and show you the products that I use in the shower I have four pre-treatment products and then shampoo and conditioner so let me go ahead and start with the pre-treatments and these are what I use kind of every other time I wash my hair because not every time I'll do a pre-treatment. Let me go ahead and start with the one that I used this morning. It's by Christoph Robin and it's the Cleansing Volume and Paste with Pure Rasul Clay and Rose Extract. This one I have to say does give me the volume and I can't stress this enough you just need like a pea size amount because it lathers up like crazy. So what I'll do is wet my hair and then grab just a pea size amount and work it through my scalp. I try not to get to the hair but just keep it to the scalp because it will dry the hair strands out. And then just kind of work it in my scalp and again it lathers up like crazy. And then just kind of rinse it off and then move on to shampoo and conditioner. And this is what it looks like. It doesn't look very appetizing but let me tell you it does give me volume. This is a unique clay to foam shampoo that helps create beautiful volume while absorbing impurities and oil from the scalp. Another pre-treatment that I like to use is by Brio Gio and it's the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. And this is another product that you just need a little bit. This one doesn't foam, but again, you just need a little bit. This one does come in a gray paste. This does remove buildup and soothe my itchy scalp. Also has coconut oil to give your hair some moisture. And it says it has peppermint, spearmint, and tea tree oil that provides a cooling effect to the scalp to reduce the itchiness, irritation, and flakiness and yeah I do feel it whenever I use this product. I do have it in this small size which is good for me because I did have the full size and that lasted about a year. Because I do have a lot of pre-treatment products that I use so having it in this size just kind of helps so it doesn't go bad. I did finish the small size in the Christoph Robin and I have it in this size so this one's gonna last me a good year. Another pre-treatment product that I use is this by DPU, the HCV, the Apple Cider Vinegar Hair Rinse. It's infused with lavender extract, aloe vera, and argan oil, and it conditions your hair, leaving it softer and shinier. This one does have a little bit of a vinegar scent, but this one that I have, I'm almost done with it. I mean, probably one or two more uses. It's by R&Co, and this is the Acid Wash. This one doesn't smell as vinegary as this one. 
And once I finish with this, I'm going to move on to this one by DPU. I like them both, so kind of interchange with whatever is on sale. And I do like the nozzle applicator to kind of pinpoint where I needed to go. And then once I put in my scalp, kind of massage it in and rinse, then move on to the shampoo and conditioner. And the last pre-treatment product that I use, I don't use this one often, but I like it. It's by Philip Kingsley, and it's the Elasticizer. I do get this in advent calendars and beauty boxes, especially from Look Fantastic, because this is a UK brand. And how I use this one, once I get my hair wet, I'll just put a small amount. And instead of the scalp, I'll put this one in the hair. Leave it on for about five minutes, then rinse it off. It says you can leave it on overnight or even 30 minutes, but... Five minutes is good for me. This one does make your hair stronger, make it softer, make it shinier. And I use this one probably about once or twice a month. Oh, and I probably should mention that I read somewhere, and I can't find it anymore, that with the Elasticizer, you don't use it a week before you color your hair or a week after you color your hair. I don't know where I read it from. I'm trying to find it. And so whenever I know I'm going to color my hair, I'm not going to use it. And since I think I'm going to color my hair next week, I will not use this for the next two weeks. And those are my pre-treatments. And again, I don't use them every time I take a shower. I'll probably use this one one time and then shampoo and conditioner. And then next time, just use shampoo and conditioner. And then the next time, I'll use this one by Brio Gio. And then the next time, maybe I'll do the apple cider vinegar. And then just do shampoo and conditioner the next time. So, you know, it kind of fluctuate with what my hair needs. All right, now let's move on to the shampoo and conditioner. And my favorite one, the one I always go to, the one I know I'll have a good hair day with is this one by Revitalash, the thickening shampoo and conditioner. Okay, I'm going to give you the ingredient highlights because I want to make sure I say it right about this product because I love, I love the shampoo and conditioner. I'm so glad I found it. So it has flax protein, which protects against hair breakage. It has loquat leaf, I believe that's how you say it, that helps with thinning hair. It has willow bark, which gently exfoliates the scalp. It has ginseng, which is a powerful antioxidant that protects the hair and scalp. And Jehovah seed oil, which fortifies the hair and the scalp. So that was the highlight of the shampoo. Let me tell you the highlights of the conditioner. With the conditioner, it has biotin and keratin, which helps support hair volume. Panthenol, which helps hydrate the hair and improve the shine. Flax protein that nourishes the hair. Also has loquat leaf, I hope I'm saying that right, that helps with thinning hair. And it has green tea and ginseng, which protects the hair and the scalp with the antioxidants. And they usually have this on sale at Look Fantastic or Lovely Skin. And I always have backups of this. And I've been using this for probably three years now. My next favorite shampoo and conditioner, it's by Olaplex, the number four and number five. And I keep this one upside down, the conditioner, because it is kind of hard to get out. So I just kind of keep it upside down. And what I love about the shampoo and conditioner is that it also gives me volume and it just kind of strengthens my hair. It just kind of makes my hair feel fluffy. Whenever I rinse it out, it just makes my hair feel fluffy. Now the next shampoo and conditioner, it is by Aura Bay and it's the shampoo for magnificent volume. This one, I do like the scent of it and I do see that it gives me volume, but it doesn't hold my curls. Maybe it holds the curls for you, but for me, every time I use this and I curl my hair, it looks good and then 30 minutes later, my hair gets flat, which is kind of odd because I have naturally curly hair. But I do like the shampoo and conditioner. It does give me volume, but it just doesn't hold my curls. And the last shampoo and conditioner that I've been using is by Philip B. is the Peppermint Avocado Shampoo and the conditioner is the Weightless Volumizing Conditioner. Well, again, with the peppermint, it helps soothe the scalp, stimulate the scalp, and then the weightless volumizing condition, and this one does give me the volume. And this is also a detangler too. And pretty much all of these are sulfate-free and paraben-free. These are the pre-treatments and the shampoo and conditioner that I use for my hair. So after I use the pre-treatments and shampoo and conditioner, after I rinse off the conditioner, I'll grab my hair and just kind of squeeze out the excess water, flip my hair over, and then wrap it in a towel. And then next, I'm gonna show you the products that I use after that. I may sound a little course because I didn't have my caffeine yet so excuse that but now let me go ahead and show you the products that I use after I get out of the shower. All right I'm out of the shower now and what I do is I put my morning skincare routine and I did a video on that and I'll link it down below and then I put some body lotion on and now I move on to my hair. It's pretty much had time to absorb in this towel so I'll take the towel off yeah, that's what it looks like. I found these towels at a hotel that we stayed at. It's the perfect size. It's not too big and it's not too bulky for being on top of my head. And I like the rib material because it absorbs the water. So I took a few. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this off to the side here. And now I get my wide tooth comb and I grab it and just kind of comb out the ends first. And then I work my way up. Mm. 
this is the part that I hate. I always like to grab it and just pull out the hair that are shedding. And I hate this part because it just shows me how much hair I'm losing. <laughs> The products that I'm going to show you now are the ones that I use. I do get a lot of hair products in my beauty boxes and advent calendars and I haven't quite made my way to try those yet. But these are the ones that I use and I know that I like. The first thing that I use every single time is this by Briogeo and it's the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. I started using this product about two years ago and this has really helped with my itchiness. Let me tell you the highlights of this product. It has Benchotan Charcoal, I believe that's how you say it, which draws out and removes and impurities that clog the hair follicles. It has peppermint and tea tree oil complex which provides a cooling effect and helps reduce itchiness, irritation, and flakiness. And I think that has helped a lot with me. Alright, so I just shake it up and probably I'll get half of a dropper full. Put it in my hand and then just kind of work it in my scalp. And this kind of gives me a little scalp massage too to stimulate the follicles there. And I concentrated in this area right here because that is where I was feeling the itchiness. And also in the back of my neck there. Next I'll put a little spray in my hair and I have three of them that I kind of rotate through. One of them is this by Josh Rosebrook. It's the Serum Spray Style. And this is great because it really makes my hair feel soft. It doesn't do anything with the curls or anything like that. It just makes my hair feel soft. And I got this one in one of my subscription boxes by Detox Market. And then sometimes I'll use this one by Color Wow, the Dream Coat Spray. This one's also a nice one to use. It kind of holds the curls for me. But the one I'm going to use today is my favorite. It's by Bumble and Bumble and it's the Surf Spray. This one does give me the beachy waves. And then just kind of spray it in my hair and that's it. Next I'll put a styling cream in my hair and I mix it with an oil. Let me show you the style creams that I have. This one by Orbe, the cream for style. Love this one. Love the Orbe scent too. And then sometimes I'll use this one by R & Co, the high dive cream. It gives you the moisture and added shine. What I'm going to use today is this by Living Proof. It's the Restore Repair Leave-In. It says it strengths and transform the hair. So what I do is just get two pumps. Before I was using one, but I think now I'm moving up to two. I'll get two pumps and then I'll mix it with an oil like this one by Moroccan Oil. Pump one pump, there it goes. And then just mix those, to the, uh, mix those together and then work that in my hair, trying not to get it to my scalp. Sometimes it does get to my scalp, but I think it'll be okay. Let me show you the other oil that I use. This one's by Orbe and it's the Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. So I'll kind of interchange between these two. And the last step is mousse. I always put a mousse in my hair. And I have three of them here that I kind of rotate through. And one of them is the Orbe. This is the Grandiose Hair Plumping Mousse. And let me tell you, this one, you just need a little bit because it's pretty thick. I'm not going to use this one today, but let me just show you how much I usually use. Just that much, I kid you not. I don't use that much of that uh, Orbe mousse. Now this mousse is something new for me. I just got it maybe a couple months ago. I found it off the Nordstrom website. It's from this brand called Murdoch and it's the Sea Salt Volume Mousse. And I kind of like it. This is light and airy. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use the last one that I'm going to show you. But let me show you the mousse in this. It's kind of pump and it's kind of light, so that's good. I use two pumps. Now the one that I am going to use is this one by Living Proof and this is the Full Thickening Mousse. I figured since I use the Living Proof cream, I'm going to use the Living Proof Mousse. And then sometimes I will interchange it, but today I'm going to go for the same brand. Okay, shake it up and probably use about that much. And it's not as thick as the Orbe one. And then I just work it in, try to bring it to the scalp and lift it up to give me that... Uh, volume that I need. All right, and that is it, what I do when I get out of the shower for my hair. Now I'll go have some breakfast, watch some YouTube, kind of let my hair air dry a little bit, probably about 30 to 45 minutes worth. And then I'll be back and show you how I dry my hair. All right, I'm back and it's been about 45 minutes just to kind of give my hair that air dry feeling because I don't like to dry it when it's still wet. I had my breakfast, got caffeine in me, so I'm feeling and looking a little bit better. So let me show you how I dry my hair. It's nothing fancy. I don't do it in sections or anything like that. I do use a three inch barrel roll brush. I think that's what you call it. And I found it off of Amazon. I'll try to find a link and link it down below for you guys. And then my hair dryer, it's from this brand, Ion. Got it 
it from Sally's Beauty Supply. Love this hair dryer. It's probably about 60 bucks. It says it's the conditioning with tourmaline. The red button is the power and it gives you high and low. And then the black one I believe is the heat also gives you high and low. And then the blue button is the cold blast and it's the type that you have to hold on to get that cool blast. But I hardly use that. All right, let me show you how I dry my hair and I'll probably fast forward through this. I mean, it's nothing fancy. Have it on high. And that's how I dry my hair. And then what I do next, kind of part the top part of my hair, get my wide tooth comb and just comb it through. And then twist it and then get one of my hair clips and clip it and then I'll go do my makeup. If I'm not gonna wear any makeup, then I'll go ahead and start curling my hair. But today I am, so let me go ahead and put my makeup on and I'll be right back. Finish the makeup minus the lips because I'm still playing with hair and I'd hate for my hair to get into my lips and have streaks of lipstick everywhere. Okay, now let me curl my hair and I'm using the T3 curling iron with the one inch barrel. It does come with a glove that I don't use because it can be cumbersome changing the glove from one hand to the other, so I don't use the glove and you do burn yourself because this barrel gets hot and I have it on the third level out of five. And you can see that's what the lights look like when it turns on. All right, the light is steady, so I'm gonna start curling my hair and I start this side. Again, nothing fancy, just do it in sections here and then here and then on top. I don't comb it out or anything like that. Twist it around the barrel. Careful not to burn my fingers. <laughs> and then let it go and kind of hold it there to cool and then let it drop. Then I'll just work my way around. You see my grays are coming in. I do need to cut and color my hair. <laughs> now for the top part. And what I do is kind of finger it out, grab a section and then clip this section right here. And again, just use my fingers to comb it out and then just kind of rub it there to give it some lift and then wrap around, hold and then release. All right, good, I'm in frame here. And just kind of let that cool up there to give me that lift. Okay, my hair parts to the side here, so I'll just grab this little bit right here, kind of go underneath it to give it a little bit of lift, and then wrap it around behind. And then this is the last section here. See, nothing fancy. All right, just let it cool a little bit, and then I'll just use my fingers and just kind of spread out the curls. Tilt my head back. And just smooth it out with my fingers. So yeah, that is all that I do. And I don't like to use hairspray. I just don't like the feel of it whenever I put my fingers through my hair. If I have a little sample, I will use it sometimes, but I don't have a full size of hairspray. I just don't like the feel of it. So yeah, this is what I do for my hair. Try to give me that volume and a little bit of curl. Let me go ahead and put some lipstick on and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back a little bit more presentable with lipstick and a nicer top. But anywho, I hope you stuck to the end because I am having a giveaway. Yes, a giveaway. There'll be two different prizes, so there'll be two winners in this giveaway. The first one, I'll be giving away my favorite shampoo and conditioner by Revitalash, the Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner. So yes, this will be in one giveaway. And then the other prize will be the Sephora favorites, the Hair Holy Grail set. Holy Grails set. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the tag off and put a little bit more things in here for you guys And I'll also put something in here too The only thing that I'm gonna have to regret saying is that these two prizes will have to be for US residents only I know that's gonna hurt because the products that are here they have to be shipped by ground So unfortunately it will have to be for US residents only now to enter into this giveaway You have to be a subscriber of this channel and like this video and also a US resident or ship to a US address I'll do it that way. It has to be a U.S. address. And leave a comment down below to let me know you want to be entered into this giveaway and to let me know which prize you want to be entered in. So for instance, if you want to try for the shampoo and conditioner, just put a comment down below, Revitalash. So I know you want to be entered into this one. And if you want to try for the Sephora favorites, just put a comment down below, Sephora. Just one word, easy peasy. Revitalash for the shampoo and conditioner and Sephora with this grab bag. Okay, needed my phone to know the dates of this giveaway. Now it will 
start when the video goes live and this giveaway will end on November 14th and I'll announce the winners on November 15th. And I'll also leave the rules and regulations down below to check that out. But yes, this is a giveaway. Well, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.